received that first COVID vaccine. We are done. Your morning news now. The first doses of a COVID-19 vaccine are finally in our area. Both La Crosse Health Systems received shipments of the Pfizer vaccine yesterday, where staff at Mayo Clinic were the first to be vaccinated. Health officials say they are already planning for second doses. Gunderson Health System also received its first shipment of vaccines from the state patrol yesterday. Healthcare workers could receive their shots as early as this afternoon. According to the State Department of Health Services, Wisconsin is set to receive close to 85,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine and 100,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine. About 10,000 have already been administered. As millions of doses of the Moderna vaccine are now helping to stop the spread of COVID-19 around the U.S., the U.K. is dealing with a new strain of the virus. More than 40 countries have banned travel to and from the European country, but the U.S. has not. British scientists say the variant is up to 70% more transmissible, though there is no evidence it's more deadly. The yeas are 359, the nays are 53. A $900 billion coronavirus relief package passed Congress last night, and today it heads to President Donald Trump's desk. It includes a $600 stimulus payment, funding for businesses and the unemployed, relief for renters, and more. Those stimulus checks could start going out as soon as next week. It is a gross overreach of county power using a virus as an excuse. Breaking overnight, a proposed revision to a countywide ordinance in Trempolo County has been voted down 15 to 1. The proposal would have given health officers more authority during the pandemic, including the ability to enforce a mask mandate with fines. Last night, dozens gathered to speak at the county board meeting, the majority against the proposal. The president of the University of Wisconsin System Board of Regents says students should be able to return to campuses this spring. Students would be tested for COVID-19 as soon as they return and then twice a week if they live in residence halls or every other week if they live off campus. On Alaska, school district officials say they will be transitioning students back to in-person classes beginning January 19th. In a statement, the superintendent said in part schools are found not to contribute to the overall spread of the virus in the community. I firmly believe that with this new knowledge and the investment the district has made in the strategies that moving to in-person learning is the right thing to do. The La Crosse School District is reducing the use of school resource officers. A program review took several months to complete but was approved on a vote of six to one last night. The report's findings show the district disproportionately suspending students of color, students in poverty, male students, and students with disabilities. The report calls on the school district to collaborate with La Crosse County Human Services and other local agencies to increase proactive social service resources. The Housing First Committee of the R Wisconsin Revolution La Crosse Chapter is launching a petition. It urges local officials and leaders to end homelessness by 2025. The chapter's goal is to collect at least 1,000 signatures from La Crosse County residents. You can find that petition on the local chapter's Facebook page. I'm here to get my helping hand because I'm healthy and I'm able and I want to pitch in and help. Voller's Christmas Trees is paying it forward to our health care workers by giving away free Christmas trees. The business is located at the intersection of Copeland Avenue and Causeway Boulevard. If you're a frontline worker with COVID or in quarantine, they will deliver it for free. Just call 608-385-4125. Well, some breaks in the clouds over downtown La Crosse right now, and we'll see a kind of a more clouds and sun today. Current temps in the teens and 20s, highs today in the upper 30s with increasing winds this afternoon. Tomorrow, a chance of rain showers in the morning, changing to snow showers during the afternoon with temperatures falling from the lower 40s. Thank you so much for sharing your morning with us. Have a great Tuesday. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning.